Hey, what's up everybody, Eternal Fire here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Enhancement Shaman and the PTR for patch 725. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the talents and how they've switched around. We're gonna look at some of the abilities of the Shaman, as well as the tier gear from Tomb of Sargeras and also the class Legendary. So with that said, let's take a look. So let's get the class Legendary ring out of the way. We don't know how you get it, whether it's going to be an RNG drop or there's going to be a long drawn out quest chain from your class order hall. But basically for enhancement, it's going to give you the talent, the ring, the legendary ring will give you the talent landslide, freeing you up to use windsong or hot hand. So that'll be really nice because landslide is going to be one of those things where you just can't say no to that 8% agility increase. And it's going to be nice to be able to pick between one of these two. Um, so that'll be nice. Again, we don't know if it's RNG or a quest chain you're going to have to do. And uh, we also don't know at this time if you're going to be sticking with two legendary slots that you can use or three. If you could go with three, obviously, that would be best. Moving on to the Enhancement Shaman's Tier 20 gear set bonuses from Tomb of Sargeras. We have coming in in second place, Crash Lightning increases your critical strike chance by 5% for 16 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the four pieces storm strike increases the initial damage of your next crash lightning by 15% stacking up to 30 times. Now, in the PTR with the Enhancement Shaman, I've spent hours hitting the test dummies and trying this out. And to be honest with you, I find, you know, you think to yourself, well, let's see what the damage is if we stack it up to 30 times uh, or we just kind of use it on cooldown. And I find that for the fluidity is that a word fluidity for the smoothness of the rotation sitting and waiting for storm strike to stack that stack up to 30 times is just unrealistic not a good idea um so kind of if you get like a nice chain of storm strike procs great and then you can get a nice you know benefit of crash lightning but i really didn't see any benefit at all to saving the crash lightning stacks so you just kind of do your normal rotation to an extent and that's that. But obviously this is all still in testing. There hasn't been any Sims on this yet, to my knowledge. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens and we'll get into an actual guide when 725 is live and we can actually uh, go on live and Sim this stuff. But for right now, it's just kind of interesting. I did the most damage when I just did my normal rotation. So, and then obviously you're going to want to, you're going to want to have your four piece, but then you're going to want to have your two set bonus. Just like I said in my warrior video, you're going to want to have your two set bonus from night hold, get your two highest tier pieces of gear and, um, two highest Titan forge pieces of gear. And you're going to want to use storm strike damages increased by 10%. That's the two set bonus from night hold. And you really just can't pass up that 10% increased damage on your top hitting abilities. So you get your four piece bonus and then your best two piece from from Nighthold. Okay, so the last thing we're going to be talking about in this video is the talent build. So you're going to see in the top tier here, we have Landslide now. It's competing with Windsong and Hot Hand. Again, it'll be nice if you get that ring. You can just use Landslide with the ring and then use Hot Hand or Windsong, whatever ends up being better. Uh, but then you see down here in the bottom 100 tier, you have Boulder Fist. And Boulder Fist has just become, it doesn't replace Rock Biter. It now is just a buff for Rock Biter. Um, let's take a look at Rock Biter without Boulder Fist. So it's on a 4.62 second recharge or based on your haste. So it's a six second recharge, uh, generates 29 maelstrom and has two charges. So then if you go with rock or boulder fist, it reduces the recharge time by 15% and deals 20% increased damage. So it does 208. Now it does 250 nature damage. So, and it reduces the, uh, the recharge. So you have that up all the time and it's really nice for Maelstrom uh, generation. Landslide simply rock biter enhances your weapon increasing your agility by 8% for 10 seconds. So flame tongue and rock biter are now your self buffing abilities. Uh, as far as the other talents go, they've, they've tweaked a lot of different things. You have, uh, for instance, this has been buffed. Earth and spikes been buffed. Sundering has been buffed. Um, I actually think they nerfed Fury of Air, but a lot of things have just been tweaked up and down by a little bit. Uh, Hailstorm's still not an ability you want to use unless you have the Ekanu's Absolute Justice. Then you're going to be incorporating Frostbrand, but this is conversation for a guide when everything is finalized and we can talk about what's better than what and, 
you know, what, can, what talents you can use for different situations and what comes out ahead. So that is really the main, the main cha- change is rock biters now in the game. The talents have changed boulder fist and landslide are <clears throat> now in different spots. Other than that, everything else is just minor tweaks here and there. Some things are buffed. Some things are actually nerfed by a little bit, which I found surprising. Um, so we'll talk about that in a later video when I make a, I'm going to be making an enhancement guide video for 725 along with elemental and restoration. So if you play those classes, please, uh, make sure you subscribe for more content. Well, that's all I have for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.